Hi students, welcome. This is Dr. Dimanjani and this is the lecture series 3 English version and today we are going to take the topic significance importance of money and evils or limitations of the money. This is in continuation of the chapter number 1 that is nature and functions of money and its significance in modern economy in macroeconomics as why become SEM3 VNSU Surat. Now let us begin with the significance or the importance of money. It is true that what we really want is not money, but the goods and services which money can buy. It is the goods and services which satisfy the want of the people and not the money as such. But it must not be concluded from that this money is of a no real importance. In modern economic economics, life based on the complex division of labor or specialization, which has added so greatly to the productivity of the economy will not be possible without the money. So today we are going to discuss the major importance of the money in the economic structure. First point that is money has facilitated exchange and promoted trade. In the first place, by serving as a medium of exchange and a common measurement of a value, money has removed the difficulties of barter system and promoted trade in the economy. The difficulties of barter system, namely lack of double coincidence of the wants, lack of division, lack of common measure of a value are well known. By removing this difficulty, money has greatly facilitated the process of exchange. In the absence of money, trade and exchange must have been few and far between and entailed a great waste of time and energy. Second point is money promotes division of a labor and productivity. Money is of a great importance as it promotes division of labor and productivity in the modern economics. Since under the barter system exchange what was difficult, a man had to be self-sufficient that is produced most of the goods for him. In the absence of money, there were great difficulties in exchange of goods and services. This worked as an obstacle to the division of labor and specialization among the various individuals and the nations. Since the application of money, it has promoted division of labor and productivity and has enhanced the economic structure of the system. Next point is money promotes saving. A great significance of money is that it contributes a great deal to the increase in savings of economy. Money has made saving easier than the barter system. Increase in saving leads to increase in investment which determines economic growth of the country. Next point is money helps in maximizing satisfaction or profit by customers and producers. Money is an immense advantage to the both consumers and producers. To consumers, money represents general purchasing power. He can buy anything with the help of money he has and at the same time it is convenient to him. Since the value of goods are expressed in terms of common measurement that is money, the customer can easily compare and relative money prices of goods and expected utilities from them. Next point is money can help in reviving the economy from recession or depression. According to the modern economist, money may play an important role in bringing about real changes. They point out that at a time of recession or depression, when there exists a lot of idle productive capacity and unemployment of labor, expansion of money supply, say through government deficit budget finance, by the creation of new money will cause aggregate expenditure or demand to shift upward. This increase in aggregate expenditure or demand will cause, will cause output and employment in the economy to rise and thus will help economy to recover from recession or depression. So we conclude that money is having most important th place in the economy itself. But as we know that each coin has two sides, there are also certain problems and issues which are associated with the money. So we'll quickly go through one by one. What are the problems or limitations of the money? First problem or limitation of money is instability in the value of money. The first drawback of money is that the value does not remain stable over a period of time. When the value of money falls, it means that rise of the price or the inflation. 
on the contrary rise in the value of money means fall in the price level or deflation these changes are brought about increase or decrease in the supply for the money large changes in the value of money are disastrous and even moderate changes have certain disadvantages inflation or fall in the value of money cause direct and immediate damage to the creditor and the consumer itself on the contrary deflation or rise in the value of money bring down the level of output employment and the income thus instability in the value of money adversely affect consumers and producers and other sections of the society second point is unequal distribution of wealth the second effect of the money is that changes in the value of money leads to unequal distribution of the wealth and income inflation and deflation which brings benefit to some and damages to others leads to redistribution of wealth and income not only between the social and industrial classes but between the different persons in the same class such changes in the structure of society widen the differences between the rich and the poor leads to class conflict so rich becomes more rich and poor becomes more poor third point is growth of monopolies too much growth leads to the concentration of capital in the hands of few capitalistic this leads to growth of monopolies which exploits both consumers and workers which brings disaster to the economy second next point is wastages of resources money is the basis of credit system when credit is created too much it may be used for productive and unproductive purposes if much credit is used for productive it leads to over capitalization and over production and consequently to wastages of resources because all the produced goods and services may not be consumed by the consumers because it is not required at present similarly if liberal credit facilities are given for unproductive uses they also leads to wastage of resources next point is black money money being the store of value lures the people to hoard it the tendency to hoard the money and become rich is the root cause of the evil of black money when people evade taxes and conceal their income and hoard it it is a black money this leads to a parallel economy within the country which encourages capricious consumption black marketing speculations etc next point is cyclical fluctuation another defect of the institutions of the money is that it leads to cyclical fluctuations in the economy when the supply of money increases it leads to boom and it contracts therefore it is a slump in the boom output employment and income increases which leads to overproduction on the contrary they decline during the depression thereby leading to underconsumption such cyclical fluctuations brings untold miseries to the people and is lack of ethical or moral behavior besides above noted economical drawback of the money the institutions of money has brought down the moral social and political fiber of the society it leads to the corruption and turpitude of political and murder of deception and betrayal next point is political instability over issue of money leading to hyperinflation leads to political instability and downfall of the government this has happened in many latin american countries next point is tendency to exploit people who want to amass of money and wealth adopt underhand methods and have tendency to exploit others even nations are not far behind in this as pointed out by devonport money has an uh, enabled strong nations to destroy backward communities to win them on their side with the help of financial aid take the best example chinese policies of expansion they are doing the same thing because of money i hope my dear students you all are satisfied with the explanation of this um, points if you have any questions or issues you can write to the co comment sections and i'll be answering uh, as quick as possible if you like this video kindly press the like button and subscribe to this channel for upcoming videos thank you so